more robot reveals. We're going nuts for BattleBots, and it's the UK versus the world on BuggleBots all this week in Robot Combat. Two, one, Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. Thank you so much for joining us once again for more news that have come out over the last week. And there has been quite a lot of it. I've had to uh, scour the news pages. There aren't news pages, it's just me looking over Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you know, social media. That is news these days, so without further ado, let's crack on with the news. But wait, please, if you do not want any of the competitors spoiled for this season, don't watch on. We start with Gloomweaver, publicly announced at the start of this week. A hydraulic pentaclaw and four grabbing arms, it's a walker. Hack and Slash, built by Team Crash and Burn from Robo Games, looking forward to seeing their multi-bot. Ice Wave returns this season with a gas-powered blade spinner. I'm guessing gas is fuel, it's America, it's petrol. Jaeger is a multi-bot built by a load of beetle weight drivers from around the world, and I'm very excited to see it in action. Chomp is also a walker this season, and so is their little toddler. Copperhead, hey, Copper Drum, it's back. And it doesn't look like this, probably. This is just last year's version. Nelly, however, probably does look like this. They are back and bonking this season. P1 Evo has had some minor changes, but I think this is a really nice redesign of last year's robot, and I'm looking forward to seeing it do well. Smee! Don't ask, I don't know. Genuinely, not a clue. Monsoon are back, and this time all three sections are articulated. They can move individually. Shatter returns this season with a new and improved hammer axe thing that will just destroy everything, we hope. Death Roll return, as we confirmed a few weeks ago. They are looking awesome. This is last year's version. They always look awesome. Tombstone is also back. The Bar Spinner will be spinning its way back into BattleBots 2020. Tantrum has had a bit of a redesign. They're still going with that puncher spinner type thing, but they've got flamethrower wrists now. Ooh. Orion looks amazing. It's basically Apollo, but with boosters, and they have been showing off some of the build process as well. They're making three versions because spares, right? Team Mammoth have put together this awesome trailer for the new version of Mammoth. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch, so make sure you go and find that on their social media pages. Mammoth, it's just crazy. It really is just crazy, and I'm so looking forward to it. Witch Doctor, the second place robot from last year, are returning as we probably thought they would be. Sawblaze is back as well with minor upgrades to last year's version. It's like their featherweight Megatron. And Team Ironside from the UK are bringing a robot alongside Team Gabriel. They're merging and bringing something to BattleBots and I cannot wait to see it. Now moving on, on Instagram. BattleBots shared the build process of the new prizes, the giant nut, and of course the giant bolts as well. It's really interesting to see how these things come together, but the 2020 trophy is made. Who will win it? You'll have to wait and see for the season. Last Monday saw BuggleBots UK versus rest of the world once again, and it was a 4-0 defeat for the rest of the world this time, as opposed to their win last time. Drizzle smashing up Chef Gruyere. Solanza Frog beating Halo, Maximum Ogre Driver outlasting Hold My Beer, who just weirdly drove in the pit, and geared down for what beating Unconscious 514. And that's it for BuggleBot Season 2. Congratulations to all the team. Earlier in the week, we found out which two robots would be our Hexbug BattleBots for 2020. It's Duck and Rotator, not the two I would have picked, but two I actually predicted, so pretty happy about that. If you haven't gone to see my video yet, do go and check it out. I've analysed the video put up by Family Gamer TV and uh, we can have a look into the ins and outs of these new robots. If you want to go and have a look, do. If not, never mind, eh? Last weekend saw Robo Dojo Antweights, and Alex the Hunted was present and has filled me in on some of the details. The winner of the event was Sev Allant with his three robots, Psychopathy, for Fox's sake, and the Clusterbot Yeetus and Retreatus. Also, congratulations go to Alex the Hunted, who won the Gladiator Battle with Mini B. And finally, news from the world of Woodrow itself. The Grand Slam Contest of Champions special filmed on Thursday and will be released once we pass 1,000 subscribers. And that just about does it for today's video. Which teams are you most excited to see in this season of BattleBots that have been publicly confirmed? Remember, 
don't reveal anything that I haven't said about today. I have been very cautious and careful about who I have shown off to make sure that they are public knowledge. Any that haven't been released to other people that aren't supporters, they don't need to be in the comment section below. Until everything is public, keep it to yourself, yeah? Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like, do subscribe to this channel for more of the same, you know, other stuff too. I want to do some more gaming stuff. Uh, there's more robots on the way, exciting. And uh, of course, Grand Slam Special on its way as well once we pass that thousand subscriber mark and I need to edit it. So that'll be fun. He lied. Right, see you next week. Bye-bye.